Experts found the oldest lakeside village ever discovered in Europe underneath the waters of Lake Orid in Albania. The lake itself is ancient too. It's said to be one of the oldest lakes in the world. Before this discovery, a village in the Italian Alps held the record. It was about 7,000 years old. But radiocarbon dating shows that the village under Lake Orid was built between 6,000 and 5,080 BCE, which means it's around 1,000 years older than any other village in Europe. Around 200 to 500 people lived in this village. It goes back to the time of the Neolithic period. In fact, these people were likely one of the first ever communities that decided to settle down. This discovery wouldn't be so interesting if it didn't have an enigma. Villagers made a wooden fortress of spikes all around their village to stay safe. But safe from what? Something mysterious. These locals went through all the trouble of building their homes on stilts over the lake and surrounding it with spikes for defense. Why did they make things so complex? That's what archaeologists are trying to figure out. Are there any other unusual settlements? Sure thing. For example, Gobekli Tepe. This place takes us back to the very beginning of permanent settlements. It also makes us question everything we thought we knew about how organized societies started. It seems like the fellas who lived there were into something pretty special, like rituals or hanging out together as a community. Around 11,000 years ago, ancient humans carved huge blocks of limestone and somehow managed to drag them to the other side of the mound. These blocks were like canvases painted with images of animals and people. They were placed in circles. Underneath these stones, you'll find the same massive pillars as the ones from the other side of the mound. Around 250 of these pillars hang out on the surface, and researchers also found around 60 of them during the dig. These are like messages from the past, telling us about people who once lived here and the stuff they were up to. These findings challenge traditional timelines and interpretations of early human society. While Gobekli Tepe has gained popularity among tourists, there's another site nearby, Karahan Tepe, it remains lesser known, but equally significant. Both sites challenge the belief that animal farming led to settled life. In fact, it appears people became sedentary first, and then they started animal domestication. They also question the traditional idea that organized societies followed the development of agriculture. These ancient sites suggest that organized communities existed before agriculture, possibly with cultic or communal rituals. These structures suggest complex, multi-purpose functions rather than just religious ones. People gathered in these places for discussion and storytelling, fostering a collective identity. These buildings might mark the beginnings of a cohesive community, showing the emergence of horizontal hierarchies and knowledge sharing. Let's move to the other side of the world, Mexico's 1,500-year-old D-unknown pyramids are worth talking about. These pyramids have stood strong for all these centuries, all thanks to a secret ingredient from the prickly pear cactus. With its help, indigenous builders crafted these ancient marvels. Gray volcanic rock pyramids rise like a mini mountain range. As we get closer, it becomes clear that skilled hands etched identical steps into the hard rock, forming a staircase of the largest pyramid. The two smaller pyramids, called the House of the Wind and the House of the Longest Night, share the same human touch. Legend has it that these structures hid treasures. But it wasn't until Mexican archaeologists started digging there in the early 2000s that the secrets began to unravel. The House of the Thirteen Heavens was built around 540 BCE to keep track of time. After all, it wasn't so easy for ancient people to keep track of dates in the days before clocks and calendars. Instead, they looked at the skies and celestial objects. Think of the pyramid as their own cosmic calendar. 
Its corners matched up with solstices and important dates for planting and harvesting. When you stand on the steps these days, the sun lines up perfectly with the corresponding corner. But these pyramids aren't just about telling time. Kiraz and Zapata, archaeologists on a mission, are trying to piece together the clues. They've recovered a few artifacts, and that's how they've learned that the ancient builders used the sticky substance from prickly pear cactus leaves to hold their creations together. This ancient technique is still used by some indigenous people today. One surprise after another. The House of the Thirteen Heavens reveals a skeleton older than the pyramid itself. Nearly a millennium older. This means that people carried this body with them for 950 years. It's another mystery. The next stop is Duna de Bologna. It's a Spanish sand dune hiding Roman ruins. This sand pile is near the edge of Europe, reaching out toward North Africa. It's more than 98 feet tall and 656 feet wide. As the winds move and the dune shifts, it reveals pieces of history hidden deep within it. Climate change boosts those winds, moving the dune even more. As it migrates, it shows us traces of people who used to live here. Archaeologists have been busy digging around, and they found ancient tombs. Imagine exploring a sandy maze and stumbling upon these tombs filled with history. The sand has acted as a protector, preserving bones, jewelry, and arrowheads. But that's not all. Nearby, there's an archaeological site from the 2nd century BCE. That's when the Romans were hanging out here. They had a whole city down there, complete with baths, a theater, and a temple. And it was built on top of an older, Phoenician settlement. An earthquake shook things up a long time ago, and people left the city. For centuries, it lay hidden under the sand. Modern historians and archaeologists are excited about what else this shifting landscape will reveal. Fingers crossed that this sandy time capsule stays safe and keeps sharing its stories with generations to come. In Peru, archaeologists are exploring the 3,000-year-old Condor's Passageway. A what? Okay, so archaeologists were digging around a place called Chavan de Huantar, where the Chavan people lived. This place is around 190 miles away from Lima, Peru's capital. So, the Chavan people were advanced artists. They loved drawing birds and wild cats in their paintings. And they went way back, even before the Inca Empire became a big deal. They were some of the first societies that settled down and started farming in Peru's highlands of the Andes Mountains. That's more than 2,000 years before the Incas showed up. Archaeologists found a secret passage in one of the temple buildings. They called it the Condor's Passageway. It was a hidden hallway that had been locked away for ages. Lara Croft would love it there. This passage leads to other rooms inside the temple. It gives us a peek into what life was like then. Inside this hidden hallway, the researchers found some neat stuff. Like a big piece of pottery weighing as much as a big bag of potatoes and decorated with a drawing of a condor's head and wings. The condor, by the way, is a power symbol for the ancient Andeans. Archaeologists also found some pottery. All of this stuff was discovered in May 2022 when the entrance to the hidden passage was finally opened. Pretty new. The temple complex where they found these ancient items has other structures, like terraces. And there's still more to uncover. The tricky thing is going forward in these hidden passages. The archaeologists had to send in cameras mounted on robots to explore them first. They didn't want to risk messing up the ancient building or, um, getting stuck in there. Let's wait and see what else they'll uncover. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.